Once your footage is imported, you can begin the edit. There are two ways to add footage to your sequence. The first is to simply drag it into the sequence timeline. As seen in the import video, Final Cut Pro provides easy setup options for the most common video formats. But even if you're not sure of the format you're working with, Final Cut Pro's timeline can automatically set the sequence to match your content's native format. Since this is the first clip to be added to the timeline, a message appears asking if the sequence settings should be changed to match the clip settings. Click Yes, and the sequence adjusts to perfectly match the format of the imported clip. You don't need to stick with a single format either. Final Cut Pro 6's powerful open format timeline means you can have real-time editing of virtually any clip. Here, an HDV clip is added alongside a DVC Pro HD clip. Even with a transition added, playback of both clips is smooth despite the difference in formats. Once footage has been added to the timeline, you can trim the in and out points of the clip by clicking and dragging either end. Notice how the clip ends snap to the playhead. You can turn this snap feature on and off by toggling the snapping button or by pressing the N key. To split a clip at a specific point, drag the playhead to the place you want to make the cut. Select the Razor Blade tool from the tool palette or simply press the B key. If snapping is turned on, the razor blade will lock to the position of the playhead. Click down to make the cut. You can then switch back to the standard selection tool, either from the tool palette or by pressing the A key. Then select an unwanted portion of the clip and press the delete key to remove it. The second and more powerful way to add your clips is to use the viewer in Canvas. Double click on a clip in the browser to load it into the viewer. Use the jog and shuttle controls to position the playhead, then press the I key to set an endpoint. Position the playhead again, and then press the O key to set an out point. Now, drag the clip from the viewer to the canvas without releasing the mouse. A pop up menu of editing options appears. The common edit operations are insert which adds the clip to the timeline at the current playhead position, shifting everything to the right of the edit point up the timeline to make room. Overwrite, which adds the clip to the timeline, replacing the portion of footage in the timeline occupying the same space. And Superimpose, which adds the clip as an additional layer of video above any existing content in the timeline. The Insert and Overwrite choices also provide the option to add a default transition at the edit point. If you want to add a transition to your clips after they've been added to the timeline, press the up and down arrows on the keyboard to move to the edit point between the clips, and then choose Effects, Video Transitions, and choose a transition type from the various subcategories. All transitions appearing in bold can be played back in real time without the need to render them. To fine tune the timing of the transition, double click it in the timeline to open the editor in the viewer. In addition to these basic editing tools, Final Cut Pro also includes other powerful ways to adjust clip edits. These include the ripple, roll, slip, and slide tools found in the tool palette.